All right, guys, the toughest test for the Cleveland Cavs is finally here. This is my matchup preview for Tuesday's game between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Boston Celtics. This will be the first time these two teams are going to see each other. And this will actually be the first time... Or no, they'll play... Yeah, they'll play next Sunday. Not this upcoming Sunday, but they'll play the following Sunday. So about in 13 days. So we'll see them in a two-week stretch a couple times. Uh, one at their place, one at ours. So yeah, Tuesday's game, man. Obviously, this is not an ESPN matchup. I wish it was, but you'll find it on NBC Boston um channel if you you know don't want to watch the league pass but yeah the two top teams they clash in uh what should be a great game man should be an amazing game um between two just really good teams duking it out obviously you know there's a lot of history here um so yeah we'll dive into the preview but like i said overview of the rivalry the Cavs aim to stay undefeated and the celtics the defending champions they're trying to prove that they're still the team to beat um yeah it's a historic rivalry obviously it's a matchup that you know has been very common in the playoffs you know they've definitely broken our heart a few times they've broken my heart a few times uh last year also i mean you know it one i mean obviously it was a five game series so it wasn't really heartbreak but it was like damn but yeah i mean we've broken theirs obviously we played in the 2015 playoffs we played in um uh the 2017 playoffs i mean we pretty much had the same path but um, yeah, we played this first round, I believe, in 2015, and then we played in the Eastern Finals, obviously, in 17, and then 18 was the same story. I mean, we played them in the Eastern Finals, seven-game series, so we've had their our way against them in a few matchups, and they obviously got the best of us in LeBron's first stint twice. Most infamously, obviously, was LeBron's last year there. Um, you know, they, they, they're looking at, they're, we're looking at this from a Cavs aspect, not like a overall, uh, NBA aspect, I guess if you want to call it, so I'll say, I'll call it infamous, but LeBron's last year in Cleveland, that was, you know, his, obviously his first stint came to an end, and he took his talents to South Beach later that summer, man, so yeah, the Celtics have definitely caused some pain and, you know, trouble for the Cavs, and, you know, it's like, obviously a matchup that I always look forward to, I don't like the Celtics one bit, and those are just games that add a little something special to it, man, so yeah, a rematch of the semifinals last year, um, Donovan Mitchell didn't play in the last two games, but you know now is his chance to kind of show what he can do. He he didn't play last game either, but we're coming off a win over the Hornets. But this Celtics team, they look all they look ready, and you know this this team in general. I mean, right now, if you ask me, I would still put the Celtics as a slight favorite, only because they're defending champions, and they're not that much far off than we are. I mean, I'm not ready to say we're going to overtake them, but I did have these two teams, like I said, meet, meeting in the Eastern Conference Finals this year. And, uh, you know, it's looking very possible that could happen. I mean, we'll see if it happens. But, yeah, the Celtics, man, they're a great team. Can't deny that. But here's what I think we need to do to win. T Jason, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are having phenomenal, um, you know, just seasons so far, obviously, just like they did last year. And our shooting efficiency has been off the charts. I mean, we shot, heck, against the Bulls, we got 49 points in the first quarter. That's a franchise record. Uh, but 50, we're shooting over 50% from the field and then 40 plus percent from the three point line. And this is why I always say, I said this last video too, this team reminds me so much of the 2015, 16 Golden State Warriors shooting high, unselfish. The ball just keeps moving and moving and moving. It's not one person trying to play hero ball. You know, Donovan Mitchell, he obviously he made a mistake. I think it was against the Sixers. I believe he said like, oh yeah, I apologize. Cavs fans. I was selfish. He wanted to triple double, but yeah, that's just, like, a mistake that, you know, he even said that he, and he ain't gonna make again, man. So, yeah, this is an unselfish team, and, you know, there's just all the reason in the world to just love what this team has done so far. And, yeah, I'm very optimistic about this game. I think that we can go in there and win. Uh, but it's gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be a tough game. It always is against these guys. And, you know, the, re the, the, the they're a physical team, first of all. I mean, they, they... I think Jared Allen is gonna hopefully do his thing. You know, I, I don't... Thing is, I'm not really sure what to expect when it comes to that because, like, obviously Al Horford's a great player and all you know, is like one of the most you know looked up to players of all time. But um, Jared Allen versus him in the paint is going to be a great matchup. So I think if we can avoid turnovers, the Celtics are a lengthy team as well, so you don't want to sleep on them. Um, but yeah, I think that you know Jason Tatum, he's obviously having a great start. Um, Horford, I believe, had 18 points last game, so. You know, he's he's been efficient as well, so you got to contain him. But defense has to be strong. 
Um, you know, a couple of years ago, we were ranked number one in defensive efficiency. Last year, we weren't too bad either. I think we were in the top five. So we're looking like we can be this year as well. So it's going to be a good game, man. I can't wait to watch. Um, but yeah, got to stay disciplined. Got to just stay ready for the defending champions. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't like the Boston Celtics one bit. They've caused, they've broken my heart a couple times and, you know, obviously just the matchups and their dominance, you know, the rivalry is just pretty, it's always been intense, you know, from players like KG, Paul Pierce, even now Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Al Horford. Um, it's always been an intense, intense matchup against these guys. Obviously Kyrie, <laughs> he left us for them as well. So that also, you know, that obviously his stint didn't end well either, but you know, it's a, it's, it's a rivalry, man. It's a fun game. Um, and, you know, finally the Cavs are fun. Over the last few years, they've became competitive again. So it's a little bit more exciting to watch than it has been in, from that uh, 2019 uh, to 2022, you know, season. So four years and we're back. And we've been on a good two-year, three almost three-year run, man. So I hate the Celtics. Don't like them at all. Um, I'm sure they don't like us either. But... You know, this is a this should be a fun game, man. I guess these guys. I mean, I respect the hell out of Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and them. Like, I don't like the Celtics, but I respect the hell out of them. They're a great team, uh, but I'll, at the same time, screw the Celtics. <laughs> but you know, Cavs are ready to prove themselves, man. It's gonna toughest test. You know, they played Golden State, obviously. They're at the top of the West, but this is our toughest test. You know, an, an Eastern Conference rival, a team that's vying for that top seed with us, a team that we could very well see in the playoffs. We always say let them know. Let's go to 16 and 0. How about that? But let Boston know, man. Let them know. Specifically Boston. I don't like the Celtics. Um, want to shut their fans up. Obviously they they've been kind of discrediting our 15 and 0 start also. So, it'd be good to get a win in their place and then, you know, we'll see them again in 13 days after. But focus is on tomorrow, man. It's the defending champion Boston Celtics hosting the undefeated Cleveland Cavaliers. It's going to be a great game. I can't wait to watch it. Let's go Cavs, man. Let's go to 16 and 0.